Well, good. Then all you want to do is look over here. So if we look at this example, guys, we have y equals 2 divided by x minus 2 plus 1, right? OK, so in this example, if what we want to do is first identify the vertical asymptotes. So we know that the parent function has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. Actually, let's identify the transformations first. If I have this minus 2, that means I'm shifting the graph right to units, right? Don't forget the right two units. If I'm adding the 1 outside the function, that's shifting the graph up 1. This 2 is a vertical stretch. But remember, the vertical stretch is not shifting the graph left to right. So that's not going to affect the domain. It affects the graph, but it's not affecting the domain or the asymptotes. So going back to my original parent function, 1 over x, that has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. If my graph is being shifted two units to the right, that means my new vertical asymptote is at x equals 2. So my horizontal asymptote is originally at y equals 0, but my graph just got shifted up 1. So my one. new horizontal asymptote is at y equals 1. So the asymptote is the number that causes you to hit some transformations. Yeah, as long as you know the transformations then, and the parent function, then you're good. Now, the x-intercept, y-intercept, this is probably the most <laughs> difficult you'll be doing this. So remember, the parent function doesn't have an x and a y-intercept. So what we have to understand here is, well, the x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. So what we're going to have to do is plug 0 in for y and solve for x. Now again, this is the most difficult it's going to get all day today. I'll show you guys some, we'll all have some tricks up our sleeves later. So anyways, I've got to solve for x. So the first thing I got to do is isolate the expression. So I have negative 1 equals 2 over x minus 2. Guys, if you're trying to solve for x and it's in the denominator, you've got to get it off the denominator. So I need to multiply by an x minus 2 on both sides. That now divides to 1. I have to apply distributive property here. Be careful, use your parentheses. So therefore, I'm left with a negative x plus 2 is equal to 2. Well, now I can just subtract the 2. Negative x is equal to 0. Divide by negative 1, x is equal to 0. Okay. For the y-intercept, x is equal to 0. So now I just take the exact same equation and plug 0 in for x. Two divided by negative two is negative one plus one. Y is equal to zero. And you say, okay, hmm, cool.